how y'all doing today? So for this video, uh, I'm going to be going over the Lucky Duck decoys. Like I said in my last video, I haven't got to use them yet. I just got them. Uh, so at the end of the season, I may do a end of season review on my uh, thoughts of them and how how I thought they held up through the season. Uh, but if you like the if you liked uh, my last video review on this, make sure you watch this video, especially if you're on the fence about uh, what decoys you're going to buy. Alright y'all, so here's the here's the decoys. Uh, so a big reason I went with these is uh, the price. They were, they were, they're a reasonable price. You get, you can buy them individually and they're about uh, $40, $50 a piece. Uh, but if you uh, go to Bass Pro, you can pick them up. They come in a, a, a combo set. You get the Jake and the Hen for, I think it's $80. Uh, I was, I was uh, going to get the AVNX, but after looking at them, I mean, I mean the AVNX, they, they do look a little more realistic, I think. But uh, I don't think it's going to be so much that it's going to really affect the turkey a whole lot. Uh, the big reason I went with these is they're light. Uh, they weigh next to nothing. They're, I think, I think they said like a pound each, and they collapse really easy. So they have this plug right here in the back. You just pop it up and let the air out, and they they collapse right down. They they collapse right down to nothing. You can put them in your you put them in your vest and take them and go real fast and then when it comes time to blow them up you just like blowing up a balloon you just blow air into it and it, I mean it's that quick uh, another reason I'm doing a review on this is you can find reviews uh, on YouTube of these and they go over them they don't really show them how fast and how easy they are to blow up and take down uh, the uh, the Jake here, uh, it's the same way. Uh, you have the two, uh, you have the the uh, nozzle right there, but it, I'm I'm not gonna blow it up. I just showed you on the hand. They're they're exactly the same. So each one of them comes with a stake. So the stake they're connected by bungee, and they just clip together. Right here, it has a little a little foot peg. It makes it easy to put in. My last ones were plastic, and it I'd have to watch out for rocks, and they were a pain putting in. But these, you just put your weight on it, and it goes right down. And right here is where it goes. Slide that on there, and then uh, you can just leave it there. But as you can see, it's wanting to turn uh, gravity, the wind, whichever way it's leaning. But down here, that's what they have that hook. You take the. Uh, and there's a bungee strap attached. You just take that, clip it down there, and it ain't moving. It may move a little bit, but uh, but once you get it set in how you want it, it'll it'll pretty well stay. So there's that hen the same way. Another reason I got this. So with Avian X, with all the other decoys, you have to buy. You're buying a quarter strut Jake, half strut Jake. You're buying either. Uh, a breeder hen, a lookout hen, um, you're, you're paying for one decoy uh, and you're paying a higher price for it. So this one, what I like about this, you take this, take this hen, let a little bit of air out of, out of it, just collapse in the bottom right there. And you can set it up to where it looks good, especially in leaves. And you can set it up as like a hen that's ready to breed I get, but I mean that's not perfect right there but you can you can set it up how you want to and uh, right there you got I mean you got two decoys right there you got a, a breeding hen and then you got a you just got a regular regular hen uh, so that's that's why I'm, I really like these and why I'm looking forward to them so, 
my other ones the old ones i have they were cheap ones from like walmart or somewhere they have the hole in them and they collapse while they're sitting out there uh and i wanted one that's inflatable so it don't do that so uh, what i don't like about these um so the hen uh after after about 10 minutes she's starting to kind of go she's about like that i mean i know i just didn't didn't just blow air into her but that's about where she, what she's like the good thing about it is even though like so you get these these spots right here that's kind of caved in but it's it's so little that it's not even noticeable turkey ain't going to know that so even though even though she don't hold hold air completely um she still holds her shape and uh so there was a spot on the tail. You can still see it a little bit. It's a little, little damp from where it was, where it was packaged. Um, uh, it, it was worse. So you can't even know. You don't even know it's there unless you're looking at it. Uh, it was a pretty bad dent. But uh, what I did to fix that is I just, um, she don't hold air real tight, but she'll hold it long enough that I can fix that. I blew air into it, got her pretty tight, and I ran hot water over it for about 10 minutes. Uh, it probably would have got it all the way out if I, uh, it's probably more like five minutes. Uh, probably would have got it all the way out if I would have done it for like 15 minutes or so. But it got it most of the way out. And it's the same way with, uh, same way with this Jake right here. Oh, I forgot to undo the bungee. So, he had, uh, right there, you cannot tell at all. But it was, it was, there was like a little bit of a crease and wrinkle right there. And, and it didn't look good. Um, it wasn't horrible, but it, I I wasn't happy with it. But I same thing. Uh, aired him up tight. Uh, put a ran hot water over him, and it came out most of the way. Um, so far, I've been pretty happy with these. I was I was a little worried though uh, when I got this when I got the hen. The uh, stake would only go a few inches and stick. It, I had a hard time pulling it out, had a hard time putting it back in. Uh, I shined a light down in the tube. So what there is, you see a uh, screw up there. So with these Lucky Duck decoys, there's a, there's a sleeve that runs through them that the, uh, that the stake goes into. And looking into it, I could see that sleeve was twisted. And that sleeve being twisted, it, it kinked it off to where the stake wouldn't go through. And I was getting frustrated. Um, I mean, I just bought a new decoy and the hen wasn't working. Uh, I got to messing with it and looked and noticed that it looked like it was two separate pieces. So I got to messing with it. These, this part right here is like a cap and it'll unscrew. And when it unscrews, that part with the sleeve is loose. So I unscrewed it, uh, turned that sleeve until it was untwisted, and uh, it was ready to go. I just had to turn it down turn it tight um, if you don't turn it tight enough it's not going to hold a lot of air uh, it won't hold any air but uh, once you get it down tight it'll start holding air and then it, it's good to go but uh, I'm really looking forward to using these like I said um, at, at the price price point uh, I was kind of wanting an AV next but I, I couldn't I couldn't afford to. If I got an AV next, I was going to get a hen. Uh, but with this combo set, I was able to get a hen and a Jake. And and they're 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 nice decoys. I th I think they're really going to work good. Like I said, I haven't got to use them yet, but I'm I'm I think they're going to do what they're designed to do. But uh, and the, and the other thing, like I said, they're light, next to nothing. I was looking uh at reviews and stuff and I want to say the Avian X I'm not real sure on it I want to say this say the we're saying it was around five pounds or so uh, maybe not quite that but uh, which they, they're if you've ever held one they're a little heavier than you would expect these are light as can be uh, they're uh, if you turkey hunt like I do I know a lot of people they like to drive around in their trucks and just stay on the road they go down a hidden owl hooter if turkey don't gobble they keep going um i don't guess there's anything wrong with that but uh i i like to get out and walk around and there's times i work i'll walk miles and miles and just because i think oh that looks nice and i just keep going don't stop and 
with me doing that, having these like decoys, uh, I think they're really going to pay off as opposed to having something that's several pounds heavier. But uh, I'll get a uh, I'll get a uh, end of season review hopefully on these. Let you know what I thought about carrying them around, setting them up. If mm, let you know if I had any turkeys come in on them. And uh, but hopefully this uh, initial review of them kind of gives you an idea and uh, might might help you decide on whether or not you want to get these. But anyways, uh, y'all have a good day.